Guys, I am back in the movie lair. It's about time. It's long awaited. I've not been in the movie lair for a while. As you know from what I said in my last video, I've been out of town. I've been in Florida. I've been in Disney World. Um, meeting Mickey and the gang. And it was a blast. It was a blast. It was a scorching inferno. Um, I lost my eyebrows three times and had to paste them back on. Um, they obliterated as soon as I stepped in the park. That's not true, guys. That's a lie. That was made up. But, um, I, I don't know. I made that story up for you, though. What? Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy. Okay, look, I've been, I've been, um, I did one video like I'm about to do now. It, it was a must own Blu-ray video, top 10, just must own. So I think I'm going to start diving into genres, maybe actors, maybe directors of must owns. So today I'm going to do a must own horror, a top 10 must own horror. And just like in the other video, the, this isn't my top 10 per se, but these are 10 stapled horror movies that I think you should see. And my favorites, not necessarily, it could be like 10 slashers. So I don't want to do like 10 of the same thing. I kind of want to do 10 stapled horror movies um, that are kind of, you know, different from each other that I think you should see. And... I'm going to have 10 and I'm going to have two honorable mentions because there's so many horror. There's so much good horror and there's so much good like cheesy 80s horror and stuff that I'm not going to be able to put in here because I don't think those are must-see key movies. You know what I'm saying? I think you guys understand what I'm saying, but who knows? One of those might be in here. So we're going to start it off. Most of these movies you guys will know. This, this is just my opinion and I think these are just horror movies you should see at least one time. And we're going to start it off with number 12. It is The Wolfman. Okay, I've only seen this like twice. But as far as the universal black and white horror movies, honestly, this is probably my favorite. I believe this is Lon Chaney Jr. And this came out in, I believe, 41. So Pearl Harbor, same year. That tells you how old this movie is. Um, it looks great on Blu-ray. The black and white, the... The thing about these black and white movies, it's the atmosphere that's created with these, in these movies. And my favorite time to watch these is during Halloween time. That's really the best time. Which, I guess it really is the best time for any horror movie. But especially those old school Dracula, Frankensteins. And the other honorable mention, which sort of paid me not to put on the list. It's the new It movie. Um, this was great. This was a great coming of age. A great horror movie. And a great like 80s throwback movie. All in one. It's like Goonies meets... Uh, it's like Goonies meets, I don't know, Jason. It's really good. These, these kids form a bond and they take down this creepy clown and they're coming back pretty soon in theaters. <sighs> Let me catch my breath, guys. Let me catch my breath. Okay. Number 10. So this is going to start off the list. It is Friday the 13th. Yes, I'm a bum and I'm too cheap to pick up the 10 set. So please excuse this one for being a DVD set, even though it is Guys, this is a really good DVD set. Honestly, one of the best. I mean, it tells you the kills, what the kill count is, um, what, he, what weapons were used, all kinds of features, what it did at the box office. Really good set if you don't want to pick up the Blu-ray and spin that kind of dough. Um, basically, this is just the perfect slasher um, franchise. It's not the best well-made movies, but it's the perfect slasher movies. You can turn off your brain and just watch them. Okay, we're getting a little new school here, and we're going with The Conjuring. Man, this this movie really revived the new modern age, the modern age horror for me personally. I mean, yes, the story's been told and told and told. It's a it's a haunted house story based on a true story, but it's great. I mean, the the Warrens, the paranormal investigators in here go investigate a case up in I believe, uh, geez, was this Rhode Island? I believe this is or close to Rhode Island. And man, this is one creepy movie and one of the best modern horror movies. Okay, coming in at number eight, it's Nightmare on Elm Street. Robert England um, was meant to play this role. He, I wish he'd come back. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But my, one of the most inventive slashers, one of the smartest slashers, and a decade, like I said before, filled with slashers, this is one of the best and probably Wes Craven's 
second best movie as I got another one coming up in here. Uh, really great. Really great stuff. Okay, guys. I've already forgot. What are we on? Ten... Uh, seven? We on seven now? I think. I can't count. Guys, I, I'm losing brain stems daily, I think. Okay, coming in at number seven, it's Wes Craven's Scream. This movie is just... I think you should watch slashers, watch a few slashers here and there, like Friday, Nightmare, then watch this and see how it kind of mocks those slashers, but does it in a well-done way. I mean, Wes Craven brilliantly directed this movie to kind of make fun of the slasher genre, but at the same time, this is a scary movie and a very smart slasher, and I love it. It's 90s greatness, and I love um, Matthew Lillard, I believe is his name, um, probably one of the best parts of this movie. And it's got a lot of throwbacks to like Halloween and stuff like that. Really good. If you haven't seen it, I don't know what you've been doing. Living under a rock, living in a cage, um, not watching any movies at all, but go watch that one. What is wrong? I cannot count today, guys. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. It is Alien. Now, I personally like Aliens, I think, better. I don't know. It's close. But Aliens, I don't see as a horror. It's more of an action sci-fi. The first one is a horror, I would say. Um, Ridley Scott, 1979. Great, eerie atmosphere. And it's almost like an alien slasher. But I wouldn't say slasher. I I wouldn't use that word, really. Um, Sigourney Weaver is great in here. And man, this looks great on Blu-ray. Let me tell you guys. And this is really a cheap set to pick up. And it's really one of the best sets out there to pick up. You get a lot of bang for your buck in this one. You get Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. But I'm talking about Alien 1 in this one, of course. But man, this is just such a good-looking movie, especially on Blu-ray. Man, it really pops. And man, that chest burster scene, whoa! If you've not seen that, guys, that'll hook you right in. Uh, the beginning is a little slow-paced. It's a slow burn, but it's worth it in the end, and the final showdown is great. You'll love it. Okay, coming in at number five, I believe. Yes, number five is another alien-type movie. It's 1982's The Thing. I personally like this one better. I know, they're like neck and neck, guys. They're really, Alien and The Thing, as far as... I think Alien's probably a little bit more popular. But I would say The Thing is a little better, man. Th this is great stuff. Th Kurt Russell is great in here. Um, Screen Factory put out a good release, as you see. Um, that's disgusting. It makes me want to puke. So I face it in my shelf the other way so I don't lose sleep at night. Because that'll bug me until the dawn of time. The dawn, you know, till Judgment Day. Not really. I'm making this stuff up, guys. Uh, bear with me here. Uh, but no, seriously, you're on the edge of your seat. Who, like, pretty much half the movie. Or even more than that. Because we don't know who's infected. People are getting infected left and right. And we don't know who it is, but... You know, I love the, the scene. The dog scene is classic when he grows like 18 heads. We all know that scene. And the other classic scene is when Kurt Russell is, uh, I believe, testing the DNA samples. Oh, man, that that scene will get you on the edge for sure. Great stuff. Okay, coming in at number four, it's 1980 Stanley Kubrick classic, The Shining. Probably my favorite Kubrick film. I'm not a huge Kubrick fan, but this one, man, this is a slow burn, and it's a slow pace. But, man, the aura of this movie and the theories around this movie, circling this movie, the legend of this movie, um, the hotel theming, uh, who owned, did, did he own the hotel? Was he the, the caretaker all the time? Um, just so many fan theories about this movie, and it has a good aura about it. Um, the visuals pop, of course, on Blu-ray in this one. Jack Nicholson is unhinged almost the whole time. Even in the beginning, he doesn't even seem all fully there. I think he's got a little screws loose before he gets to the hotel, but it's it's classic Jack Nicholson. He's going to. He's got to. Those are his roles, baby. Those are his roles. Look at him. He's classic Jack. Classic Jack. And, man, th this is a good movie. Um, it's a little slow burn, so maybe it's not completely for you, but it's a classic. Coming in at number three, the all-time classic, <clears throat> Halloween. If you're not going to see another slasher in your life, I would advise you to see this one. I, I personally would, I feel like I would rather watch Nightmare, but Halloween was really the one that started it all. No, it's not the first slasher. You had stuff like Black Christmas and others, 
but this is really the one that started it all. This is the masked character running around with the knife, and it's a well done. It's not a stupid slasher. Now, I will say some of the acting in here is not good. So, the movie's not perfect like some people say. The acting's not good, guys. Um, it's not horrible. Jamie Lee Curtis does a, does a pretty good job, and the kids actually don't do too bad. But the side chicks in here, the side characters, not so great. Um, the kills are great. The theme is Hollywood gold. I mean, but yeah, the quintessential slasher. And if there's one maybe you should see above that, if I would define it a slasher, which I don't think I would, is Psycho, Alfred Hitchcock's masterpiece. This baby um, is timeless, and it's still so creepy, even though it is old. Uh, Anthony Perkins in here is, man, he's a maniac. He's crazy. He thinks he's his mother. He doesn't know what he's doing. And that shower scene is so iconic. It'll make you be afraid to take a shower for the next week without the um, the curtains, you know, closed. You're going to have to leave those things open for the rest of your life, maybe. Who knows? And number one. Number one. Probably a movie I saw when I was way too young. This movie scared the, the, the nibwits off of me. It scared me stiff. I couldn't sleep. It is The Exorcist. Guys, not only is this a scary, disturbing movie, it's a really great movie. Um, it is a great film alone, besides the scary factor. And really, it is a slow burn also. A lot of great horror movies are slow burns. This movie... Man, there's the aura about this movie, and being on a ba based on a true story... It just gives you chills, you know. Possession movies like this just gives you chills. Um, you see Reagan start to get a little, a little, a little more evil and evil. And until eventually she's just completely possessed. And the two priests have to come in there and really try and rescue this girl. And it's, it's unhinged madness. It really is. And man, it is frightening. It, it will scare you. This is probably the scariest movie of all time, in my opinion. And I'm not really, I don't really get scared of movies until I start thinking about them in, a, in my head and looking up the based on the true story stuff. If you're not going to see another horror movie in your life, I would say see this one for sure. Okay, guys. That's my top 10 must-own horror Blu-rays. Those are the ones I think you should see. There's plenty other. There's Child's Play. There's Poltergeist. There's so many 80s cheesy horror that are good. There, um, you know, there's so I mean, I got Jeepers Creepers, Sleepaway Camp, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is another honorable mention. Gosh, okay. That's a problem. I didn't add that. That's a problem. But listen, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to that list for now. This list could change years from now. You don't know. I mean, there's new stuff coming out like Get Out and Hereditary. And Peel is making great horror movies once again. So... That's my list for now. If you don't like it, you can shove it. And wherever you want to shove it is fine with me. Because I don't know you, and you don't know me, really. But I'm, I'm trying to get to know you, and you need to try to get to know me. So make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, if you don't subscribe, I'm coming to you with a butcher knife, and you're going to see some slasher. I'm just joking. I wouldn't ever do that to you. But I think you should subscribe, because this channel is... I'm trying to turn out videos after videos after videos, and I'm trying to make it... Fairly good content. I know it's not the best, but guys, I'm working with what I'm working with here. So just let me be me, okay? I'm I'm getting I'm getting rambly now. I'm getting stupid. But guys, seriously, I hope you enjoy the video and you know hit that subscribe button. That helped me out, help the channel out. I'm gonna get more content to you. But most importantly, guys, go catch a flick.